Reggie Rogers, great to have you with us. Uh, great to see you as a head coach now. I know Willie's happy for you, and, and I know you're happy to have the opportunity at Bonneville as well. Yeah, thanks, Ken. Nice to see you again as well. Um, it is good to be back home, you know, where I played, and um, I am happy to be there. I'm happy for the kids, and it's time for us to have some success. You know, you look at the population in the Kenner area is, is fertile, and and the numbers of the school in terms of enrollment have been good, haven't totally translated in recent years to numbers on the field. Is it a matter of just convincing kids that there's a reason to be out there and to commit to this? Um, well, currently the numbers have picked up on, on the field for us. Um, I ran out of equipment to give so because we was not prepared for the influx of kids that's coming in. But um, the school being as diverse as it is, um, we have a lot to choose from. And I, and I was uh, pleasantly surprised when I got on campus and got a chance to meet the kids. A lot of kids was welcoming me back in, uh, welcoming me there. So a lot of them was willing to come out and uh, try to get football a chance. Clearly, you have a team that can't compete. You fared well in, in your jamboree and competed with a good team. Uh, how do you feel about your team going into the season? Um, going to the season, I think we have some promise. Um, we have uh, plenty, a lot of work to do um, in certain areas. We have to tweak some things and fix some things. But um, once we start believing, I think we're headed in the right direction. Do you take these kids back and try to show them at one time what Bonneville was, played for a state championship, and Willie Hoff and everything that happened there years ago? I have um, four coaches on my staff that actually played at Bonneville, mm -hmm. so we constantly kind of remind them of the old days. You know, we have some downtime in the summer. We kind of watch the old films and kind of show them, you know, what Bonneville was, was really like. It's, it's not what they see currently, that we were a competitive team and we were a team to be respected. We need to get that back. You know, 5A, but you're still open with EJ, and that's always uh, something to behold. It's a tremendous rivalry, one school coming out of another, and and I kind of think it sets the tone for both programs. It certainly has been the case the last few years. Absolutely. It sets the tone. Uh, it's a great week of uh, activities for the kids, um, but not to lose focus that we're here to play a football game. And, and um, it, I look forward to this week. As a player, you know, it was always a big deal to play East Jefferson. So I look forward to to, to rekindling this to, um, the rivalry, you know, from on a personal level. You know, you don't want to lose to your cross-town rival, but, you know, the kids kind of understand what's going on this week, and, and I think we're going to be ready to play. You know, the redistricting kind of alluded you. There's nothing you could do about it. You end up with the River Parish teams, and uh, that's no fun. It's kind of like choose your poison wherever you end up. How do you feel about the league you're in? I feel fine. You know, I play, I coached at Helen Cox. You know, Coach Brooks didn't back down from anybody. We would play anybody, so... I think, you know, we'll be up for the challenge. I, you know, I played Destrehan and Hineville and all the other teams we've played on our schedule with the exception of uh, East St. John. But we've seen the beasts that they are before, that they are. And we, they're very well-respected programs, and uh, we look forward to the challenge. And finally, as you approach the season, your offense a little bit ahead of your defense. Looks like you've got some talent on offense. Um, we, we're faring well. I mean, both sides of the ball coming along pretty slowly, not as fast as I would like it to come. But we have some players in spots that's going to be real good for us, um, both sides of the ball. Um, we just got to let our athletes do what they do and, and hold up up front, and we should be fine. Ready, thank you. Best of luck to you this season. Appreciate it, Ken. Appreciate it.